Yes, I've already done this gag before, but I have now evolved into the ball guy. Anyway, folks, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Sword. In the last episode, we, uh, well, we went around and uh, kicked a couple of Dynamax Pokemon's asses, and uh, two big things have happened. Oh, that's a that's a voice crack right there. There you go. Timestamp that in the comments. Haha, <laughs> Mousetrap's voice cracked. So, two things have happened uh, since the last episode. First off. My team is looking a bit different, but we'll get to that in a minute, because that's the more important thing. Second of all, my character has evolved into its final form of fashion! Yes! This is, this is the fashion-y guy. There you go. Still rocking the Team Curry t-shirt, because, you know, it's, it's original as hell. But everything else, you know, looks very different. i got, like, leather everywhere now. Like, I'm seriously looking like a 70s gimp. Uh, but regardless, uh, let's move on. So, uh, if you if you notice, my team's now all level 66. Um, so I have leveled up substantially since the last time. And the real reason has just been I've been sort of going around the wild area, doing uh, some Dynamax battles. I've uh, been able to do pretty well. I've uh, been able to uh, beat a level 4 uh, Clefable um, raid. Um, a level 5 Galarian Stunfisk raid, which is the best one I've had, um, in the process of trying to beat Snorlax. The level 5 Snorlax that just mauls your entire team. Anyway, I've not been able to beat it because I've been always with like three team, with like three trainers that have got bugger all. You know, AI teams, they're pretty bad. You know, one of them had Wobbuffet, for example. Wobbuffet! Got hit with a physical move, went down to, you know, pretty much no health. Still had some health left, and then they go, right, here's your chance. Use counter. It used amnesia. Of course it did. Of course it did. Yeah. Anyway. So. Uh, yeah, so not much really has changed. I mean, I've got an experienced candy large. A couple of experienced candy large, because I've done a fair few of these. Uh, just for fun, pretty much. But also, it's to, uh, I went around to sort of get what to buy new moves. Uh, and to get new moves. Uh, so, um, if you do the Dragon's Den, you act, uh, not the Dragon's Den? No, that's a show, and it's not a very good one, in my opinion. Uh, but yes, if you do the, the Pokemon Dens, you actually get, um, some items that you can sell. Uh, some experience candies, a Dynamax candy, sometimes more than one. Uh, which, this Dynamax level here, um, if you get it all the way to the top, your Dynamax, your Pokemon, when it Dynamaxes, gets its health doubled. Instead of, like, I think it's 50% extra health at the moment, and then it slowly creeps up the more uh, Dynamax candies you feed it, which is quite nice. Um, but also, you get TRs, uh, which are the sort of technical machines that break after one use. So I've been able to get some new moves for my team, including Brittany. Finally, we've got Sludge Wave, uh, which... I bought uh, for, um, I think it's about 3,000 3, watts, something like that, you know, not too much. I was sort of going around doing a couple of Rotom rallies as well uh, to get Sludge Wave. But it's nice now that I've got a powerful poison a special move, you know, that's always nice. The rest of the team has also got some slight upgrades. Bongo, for example, um, we've got rid of whatever move it had before, I can't remember it, so it probably was pretty bad. Uh, for high horsepower, uh, which is a physical 95 power, 95 accuracy ground type move. Uh, I believe it was brought in, it was the signature move for Mudbray and Mudsdale uh, in Generation 7. Uh, but Bongo can learn it, so that's quite nice. I think I beat a Palpitoad to get that, I think. Or maybe it was the Stunfisk, not too sure. But yeah, Bongo, not much different with him. Oh, apart from, he is now my, he is now fully Dynamax, so now he'll come out with... 478 health as a Dynamax Pokemon, which is quite nice. Ziggy, we've got a couple of new moves on Ziggy. Uh, first off is Close Combat, uh, which is obviously a really nice move. I bought that um, with my with my Watts. Um, very strong move, 120 base power, 100 accuracy physical type move, uh, but it will lower the defense and special defense of the user. So yeah, you get to the point when you get to about 120 power, there's got to be some sort of downgrade, or it becomes too powerful. Um, so most things like Fire Blast, Thunder, Blizzard, give you an accuracy 
uh, debuff. So it's like 70 accuracy, 75 accuracy, 80 accuracy, something like that. The other move is Seed Bomb. An 80 power grass move. The user slams a barrage of hard shell seeds down on the target from above. It's just a good move. You know, it's better than uh, Fire Punch and Thunder Punch. Yes, I don't get either Paralysis or, um, or Burn from it. But, you know, to be honest... An extra grass move would be nice. You know, grass is a decent typing when it comes to attacks. So, you know, why not? So Rook of D has one new move in his arsenal. Body Press. A fighting type move. The user attacks by slamming its body into the target. The, heart, the higher the user's defense, the more damage it inflicts on the target. Also, I've chosen Sir Rook of D because its defense is amazing. At 164. So, yeah... Body press base 80, but it'll do more damage if it has more defense. Uh, like, the more defense it's got. So, and Sorokadi's has got pretty decent, pretty really good defense. So, that's why I've gone to on that one. Also, it's a fighting type move, so, you know, why not? There's a nice diverse range on all my teams now. Riverdance has got Focus Miss. Yes! So, Focus Blast, another fighting type move. Um, user heightens its mental focus and unleashes its power. This may also lower the target's special defense stats. Pretty much it's like Psychic, only it's more powerful and less accurate, and it's a fighting type move. It's a really useful move if it hits. Then again, I am one for liking these moves, because I had a Gyarados with Zap Cannon in uh, Generation 2 at one point. So, there you go. A Beast did damn well in that battle with Red, what can I say? Krampus! Krampus has got pretty much an entire new move set. So first up is Burn Up. Burn Up is a move that Krampus can learn um, through leveling. I think it's about level 63, something like that, when he got Burn Up. It's a 130 base power uh, fire type move, special fire type move, and Krampus does have more special attack than attack, so that works pretty well. Um, to inflict massive damage, the user burns itself out. After using this move, the user will no longer be a fire type. That can be good, because then moves like water and rock just do super effective damage instead of four time effectiveness damage. So that's perfectly fine. Plus also, 130 base power is nice on a fire type move. And I can just get that fire type move again by just switching it out. Anyway, next we have Stone Miss. Stone Edge, um, probably the most used rock type move in the game. Uh, 100 base power, 80 accuracy, and it can it's a it's a it can uh, uh, approach critical hits land more easily as well. It's a really good move, um, but it's only got 5 PP and it's got 80 accuracy. Next, Earth Power. Um, so 90 base uh, special attack um, with 100 accuracy, and it can lower the uh, target special defense stat. Pretty much, it's the uh, ground type version of Psychic. Quite nice. And last but not least, a new addition, Scald. An 80 base power water type move with, um, well, with, uh, look at that, special, atta special attacking move. And can also burn the opponents. Um, so, yeah, I'm really happy to give Krampus a water type move, which you don't really see a rock type Pokemon with water moves or a fire type Pokemon with water moves. So, I'm happy. I, I looked and just went, wow, I can't believe that Krampus can actually learn Scold. Fair enough. Oh, no, 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 we don't want to do that. I have these specifically planned. And that's it. So, without the way, in this uh, dazzling, dazzling new look we've got for ourselves, let's uh, get moving to the rest of these. The rest of these Dynamax areas. Kick it off with Snow on side. Why not? Let's kick on that. Let's kick off with that. Come on, flying taxis! So yeah, pretty much I sort of spent about sort of an hour and a half, maybe more than that. You're buying a pearl. You give me a beast ball. Okay, what's that? Um, a somewhat different Pokeball that has a low success rate for catching a Pokemon. That's pretty useless, mate. What's your next bargain? Spell tag. I'd have preferred a spell tag over Beast Ball, but oh well. But yeah, I did spend about an hour, hour and a half just sort of like playing this game. Just for, just for fun. You know, off-screen fun. Why not? 
Right, B. You all. Did you come to lend us a hand? Yeah, something like that. How things looking? We finished getting everyone to safety, so I was about to challenge the Dynamax Pokemon. Nice one. Then let's all work together. I give you my heart, my most heartfelt thanks. We've got several opponents, so you may as well take one each. I'll be counting on you all. Here we go. Indeed we go. What do you mean, multiple opponents? That's Conkelder. That's one opponent. Oh, is it me on my own? Oh, that's bad. <laughs> that's bad for me. Right, well, Brittany, it's time for you to show what you can do. So, with my experience with Dynamax Pokemon, they can't be, or these ones, at least the Gigantamax ones, they can't be hit with status afflictions. They've all got the ability immune, which I believe means they're immune to any status afflictions. Which is kind of annoying, so let's just go for an overdrive and see how much damage we can do. I am bugging if this thing's got Earthquake. Let's go for Max Hailstorm. Okay. It's got an ice move! But it doesn't have... Ah, uh, okay. Well, that's not the worst thing, yes. Alright, so I'm gonna get buffed by hail. He's gonna get buffed by hail, which is more important. Now, I'm gonna Dynamax. And I guess I'll use... I guess I'll use Max Lightning, why not? I'm sure Max would be very happy about that. Not Gen 3 Max. No one likes him. No, no. Honestly, no one does. Is there anyone who actually liked Max in the anime, like, uh, gener in the advanced generation? No! He was an annoying little shit. No one liked him. The other one's alright. Brock was great. But no. No Max. I love it that Max Lightning does the same damage as Boom Burst. Not Boom Burst, um... Yeah, my electric boot does. That's great. <laughs> Fair enough. Seriously went for Thunder Punch. You have Max Hailstorm and you could have beat me! You could have beat me! But no, you went for that. Right. Max Ooze! My lovely new Sludge Wave! Yes. Take that! You lose, Conkelder. You lose. Very bulky Pokemon Conkelder is, so, you know. I'm not surprised they've used Conkelder in this, because, as I said, pretty bulky. Pretty uh, popular as well, it's, even though it looks stupid. I mean, it's clown with two, you know, <laughs> sort of like big bits of rock. Eh, uh, oh. I can't thank you enough. With your help, the Dynamax Pokemon have all been returned to normal. I'll keep them safe here in the stadium, so no need to worry. Mastrap. Next time, I'll be the one who saves you in your hour of need. Give me a call if you're ever in a rough spot. I'm just getting so many people who've got my back, and that's never gonna happen! If there are other places that need a champion's help, please go look after them. I'll protect the peace of Stoneside Stadium with all my might. Cheers, B. Oh, we got some more chats, have we? Mastrap. We've got to go help all the other places that these Dynamax Pokemon are running wild. Looks like there's two Pokemon stadiums left to check. Indeed, so let's go do this. I just like how my character looks. I like this, you know. <laughs> this is more to what I wanted my character to look like, to be honest, you know. I mean, as much as, yeah, the black and, uh... The, the, the black and, uh, and red was nice. I've got low battery. Are, are you kidding me? Yeah, but anyway, with that. It's just not this. Look, I mean, look at this. This looks better. I mean, look at this. We got, like, the, the, the yellow and blue combination. It's, like, full-on mass draft colors. It's great. Right. It's like it's time for Hammerlock. And I'm gonna guess we got a dragon to deal with. So if we got a dragon to deal with, it's probably best we use River Dance. Who is the ultimate dragon killer? 
You alright, Rahan? Nice timing, you lot. The stadium's just about reached its limit. There's simply too many Dynamax Pokemon running wild in there. Seems Rip Wishing Star Power is being used for some evil purpose. So that's what's caused all this. That's a problem, alright. But before we get that sorted, we've got to do something about these Dynamax Pokemon. Glad we've got you all here now. Though, we've already done the bulk of the work. We're here to help too, right, Mastreff? We'll take care of this. Fantastic. Looks like we got ourselves together an unbeatable team. Yeah, remember the former champion who called themselves unbeatable? Yeah, and then I came along. Especially you, Pierce. The way you battled me in the challenge in the Champion Cup. You really had my Dynamax Pokemon up against the wall. Things might actually go better this time if we split up our little band. Right. Everyone, split up. So we can each take down one of the Dynamax Pokemon. Let's do it. Indeed, let's do this. I'm going to get a dragon, aren't I? Is it a dragon? Team Curry for the win. Oh, are you kidding me? I got to take on Haxorus again. <coughs> it's like the it's like it's like Pokemon self-aware about my channel and my love of Haxorus. I swear. Cause it's there going. Do you know what? Let's have the champion have a Haxorus. Let's have, you know, one of these be a Haxorus. Mastrap is gonna buy a switch at some point and let's play this. Let's have a Haxorus that he has to kill. Why? Uh, anyway, rivet out. Okay, I'll make this short and sweet, Haxorus. Oh, that's bad. That's very bad. That's because it's got Iron Tail, of course. You know, I'm a Haxorus legend, god of this. Goodbye, Haxorus. But you know, it's just all like, it's like I knew that was gonna be. It's probably in fairly certain it's Iron Tail. It would surprise me if it is Iron Tail. I mean, that's one of the main big moves that Haxorus can learn alongside Outrage, Sword Dance. Uh, Dragon Dance, Earthquake, Poison Jab, X Scissor, you know, it's, it's, it's got some very nice moves, and that's why I like Haxorus. Hang on, got a, go. So I got, I got a Halberd plush on my desk. I got a little Halberd, you know. My Haxorus just, you know. He was a little bit lopsided. Got, really got to take more care of him sometime, sometimes, at least. You guys are the greatest. You really got me out of a tough spot here. I think I'd better snap a quick one to remember this victory by. Oh god, here we go. I'll take care of the Pokemon that went wild. But yeah, you don't need to. You can, you can, you can give me the Haxorus, you know. I'll take, I'll take the Haxorus off your hands if you don't want to, you know. I'll do that. N no, bollocks. Mastrath, give me a ring if 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 things should go to pot again. And another lead card for us. I'll always be happy to lend a hand if I can. The great right hand is here for you anytime. Okay, uh, can you give me the Haxorus then? No? Damn it. And Pierce, you and I have got a battle again. This time, no Dynamaxing for either of us. Wishing stars being used for evil. I assume you're all looking, uh, already looking into who's behind it, right? Carry on then. I'll take care of things here at the Hamblock Stadium. Cheers, Raihan. That leaves one. Looks like the most of the stadiums have got this Dynamax problem all sorted now. Let's keep up the pace, Mastrath. There's only one Pokemon Stadium with Dynamax trouble left. Let's finish this already. Indeed, let's finish this already. Hey, as well. You're right, Sonya. Oh, Mastrath. Someone saw those sword and shield weirdos. They said they got they got through the door. But the door's closed with an electric lock. Only it may take some time. 
Let me guess. I've got to come back here when I finish off this last one. Wouldn't surprise me if that's the case. Right, well. Last one. We're back to Surchester. Lovely. Ugh. Anyway, we're out of the way. Let's go and do this last one. You're right, Bob's your uncle. Very nice. Oh. Is the champion a hero? Yes, he's a hero of ramming his bike into you. Apologies. Ah, oh, nice Galarian Daramaka there. And lastly, Gordy. Get to safety, you three. Who do you think you're talking to, then? Worry to help, not be helped. Oh, actually, I didn't realize who I was talking to. Mousetrap's here, so everyone can relax. I'm still thinking over how to handle all the Dynamax Pokemon. With all you here, we can take each one of them he on. Let's hurry to the pitch. Indeed, Gordy. Let's do his last one. Who am I against this time? I don't know, my hair just blows around in the wind. That's nice. Oh! It's a, it's a Gigaletha. Oh, boy. I have chosen poorly. <laughs> River dance! No! Not you! Not you! No! Uh, Bongo! <laughs> You're a lot better! In fact, all of Bongo's moves can hurt Gigalith for super effective damage. Drum beating and Woodhammer are grass type. High horsepower is ground. And Drain Punch is. Uh, that's a lot of damage. Uh, drain Punch is um, fighting, so yeah, that all works. I'm just getting smacked by Sandstorm right now. Let's go for a Drain Punch. I want to get my health back, damn it. Give me my health! That was a little bit of health, I guess. Will be enough for me to survive probably another attack. Stop that. And the Max Rockfall. I'm starting to hate that move. Max Rockfall. Stop landing on my head! No, nope. Bongo's dead, damn. Should have uh, Dynamax when I did when I had the chance. Didn't do it. All right. So Krampus, just because I want to see this. I want to see Dynamax Krampus use the water uh, one. Max Geyser. It, it, it will get rid of the sandstorm. Like it really matters, but it'll get rid of the sandstorm, which is kind of nice, I guess. Also, we got Earth Power just in case we need it as well. So you know, we've got we've got ways to beat Gigalith. We're fine. Should have Dynamax with, with a bongo, though. Certainly. Certainly should have done that. Right. Come on, Krampus! Smack his face in! Yeah! Water! Rock fire type with water! Nah. Did nothing. Pretty much. And at least that's gone. That's alright. Gonna go for a throat chop. That's not going to do much. What other moves we got? Sandstorm. Raising special defense. That sounds good to me. Max Quake! And that. There you go. That's better damage. And I get a nice special defense boost as well from that. That's pretty good. And I've already lost it. <laughs> my, my statues have gone. Oh, Stone Edge, that's a lot of damage. Alright, let's finish off with a Max Flare. That'll, that'll finish Gigalith off. Take that! Eh. And Gigalith. Uh, well... Here's the sun, mate. I don't think you like the sun too much. Nope, you blow up. You go boom boom now! Gigalith, go boom boom. Yeah. Nice work, everyone. No one's hurt, are they? <laughs> just barely. Battling a Dynamax Pokemon with uh, all on your own is pretty hard work. <laughs> I expected nothing less from you. Mastrath, you seem like quite the reliable trainer, too. Oh, Mastrath, you seem quite... Yeah. He does! With a smiley face, and it's like, Ooh, I'm overreacting. Look at me. Looks like he ain't used to compliments. Look, he's got a grin wider than a Meowth. I do not 
Show me your gob, Pierce. I'll take care of the Pokemon we battled, so no need to, any of you to worry, all right? Mastrath, it's hardly a reward for what you've done for me, but please take a copy of my League card. Even the game realizes that these League cards are pretty pointless. If anything comes up, please contact me. All right, then. I wish you all the best of luck for the future. Pointless. Oh, and cutscene again. Right, I think that's all the stadium sorted out now. We didn't miss any, did we, Mastrath? All that's left is to catch those sword and shield weirdos. If we don't find them quick, they can just start all this up again. Was Professor Sonya supposed to be looking into where those two might be? Once we find them again, I'm going to take them right down. Beep, beep, beep. That's your own phone, Mastrath. It's got to be Sonya. Mastrath, it's me, Sonya. Ha, <laughs> called it. Oh, I'll screw you. Those sword and shield widows got into Hamlock Stadium and are headed for the energy plant. The door to the plant's locked. But I think I can get it open. Give me a bit and you'll be able and you'll be able to get in there. You hear that? Hamlock Stadium. Get over as soon as you can. Even on the phone. Sonya sure sounds lively. We should hurry to Hamlock Stadium. Indeed we should. But that'll be waiting in the next episode, folks, of Let's Play Pokemon Sword. I'll see you then.